Hi. By now, I am sure that you know about the AI enabled adaptive questions practice feature on MyIMS. Now, today what I am going to do is I am going to take you through this entire journey of how exactly do you use this particular feature. In this particular video, what I am going to discuss is, let's say for example, there is a certain concept that exists which you are already pretty good at. Now, how does the AI enabled adaptive questions practice feature help you go from an intermediate level to an advanced level in terms of the understanding of that particular concept? So, to use this feature, what you need to do is, you need to first take a SIMCAT. Now, for the benefit of all of you, what I have done here is, I have already solved some questions from a SIMCAT. Now, what we will do is, we will go to an individual question from that particular SIMCAT and figure out how to use this particular feature. Now that we have come to the review screen of this particular SIMCAT, what we need to do is, we need to go to say the quantitative ability section. Now here what we have is, question numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are the ones that I have tried to attempt in some order. Now out of these, if you can look at it, question number 1, 3 and 5 I have got right. I have got 4 and 6 wrong and the 2nd and 7th question I have not been able to attempt. So let's say for example, I look at this question number 3. Now in this particular question, we have this question in front of you on your screen. What I have done is, I have got this answer right. Now what I will do is, I will just click on the AI powered adaptive questions button and I will be redirected to a window which will show me a question which is similar to the one that had appeared in the actual SIM card. Now, if you look at this screen, you will be able to see that there is a question which is similar to what we had seen in the actual test. So, here the question asks us in a locality over a period of 4 years, the total income of the households increased by 60% and the per capita income increased by 25%. We have to figure out the percentage by which the population of the locality increased during the same period. Now, if you look at it, this question is exactly the same as the question at the SIMCAT, just that the values are changed. By doing this, the system tries to identify whether you got the answer right because of the correct method or you got it right purely by a stroke of luck. So, let's solve this question and see what happens if you get this answer right. So, in this case, the correct answer is 28%. So, let's mark 28% and see what happens. So, I will just submit the answer that exists here. And by doing 28%, we will see whether we have got it right or not. So, we have got the answer right here. So, if you look at the progress bar at the top, it shows us that we have achieved 50% competency compared to what we should have achieved. If you look at the answer that has been given to us and the solution that has been provided, it will explain to you in detail as to what was one of the methods that you could have used to solve this particular question. Now that we have got this answer right, Let's go ahead and see what happens if you take it up a bit. Now, we have got a fresh question in front of us. Now, in a locality over a period of 8 years, the total income increased by 26% and the population increased by 20%. Now, we have to figure out the percentage by which the per capita income increased during the same period. So, if you looked at the previous question, we were given the per capita income and we had to figure out the change in the population. In this case, the numbers have been changed by a bit and you again have to feed the correct answer to proceed to the next level. So, in this case, the correct answer is 5% and what we will do is, we will just submit the answer and see what happens. So, if you see, we have got it right again and that's why we have achieved 100% competency in this particular question type. So, here if you look at the question that we had here, we saw a question that was similar to what was there at the SIMCAT. We solved it and we got the correct answer. Now, of course, you can have a look at the solution and you can see how exactly to get to the right answer. Now, what we can do in this case is we will have to start the next level because just achieving competency at a particular level is good enough for a question type. But of course, if you have to prepare for the CAT and get better at it, we have to start the next level and take it up a notch. Here, we have got a fresh question. And here we have been told that the per capita income increased by 20%, the population increased by 15%. We have to figure out by how much did the total income increase. So, in this case, we know that the two components have increased by 20 and 15. We have to figure out what is the effective percentage change. In this case, the correct answer is 38%. So, what we will do is, we will just mark 38% here and see what happens. 
in this case we have got the answer right and that's why again the system will tell you that you have achieved 50 percent competency at this particular level so here you can again check as to how did you solve that particular question whether it was the optimum method or not and how did you get that particular answer now what we will do is we will again start a new question and see if we can take this 50 percent to 100 percent so now we have a fresh question here now this question is a twisted version of whatever we have been doing all along so if you look at it here over a period of five years the total students enrollments of a university increased by 15 percent whereas the number of faculty members increased by 25 percent you have to figure out what is the change of percentage in the student to faculty ratio now this is slightly different compared to what we have been doing in the past so let's see if you are able to get the correct answer this time around as well in this case the correct answer will be decreased by 8 percent and that's why let's see what happens if you mark decreased by 8 percent and submit your answer now in this case we have again got the answer right and that's why the system will tell us that we have achieved 100 percent competency in terms of the progress that we were set out to achieve now here if you look at the top it will tell you that you have completed the topic which means that the system the ai believes that you have achieved competency if you come across a question from this particular type you will be able to solve it without any assistance whatsoever and that is the way in which you use it to develop your strengths so whichever questions you are absolutely good at it will give you four questions that you have to get right at a stretch and only then will it tell you that you have achieved competency in this particular question type now what you can do is you can use this feature to make sure that whatever answers you are getting right whatever strengths you have are again strengthened further and you end up solving questions in a quicker manner even if there is a small twist in terms of the question that was asked to you earlier you should be able to manage it easily that's how you use this AI enabled adaptive questions practice feature on the MyIMS portal after you have taken SIMCATS. Wish you all the best with your preparation.